Hey Gemini, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a little weekly reading for you. And uh, this week we're gonna we're gonna focus on feelings. All right, so we're gonna take a pretty in depth look at your feelings, maybe your feelings for another person, shared feelings that you might have with somebody that you're involved with, or maybe somebody that is not a romantic connection. All right. Um, so yeah, so for most of you, this will probably be a romantic reading of some kind, but you can apply it to really anything, a situation. You know, how is a situation trying to communicate with you? Or how does a situation have feelings about about you? All right, so let me get the cards laid out here and then we'll get going. Okay, so I put a scarf down for a couple reasons. Um, it keeps the cards more steady and it also prevents the glare on the table, which, uh, which I don't like and I, I'm sure you don't like it either. All right, so for Gemini, the first card, we're going to take a look at how you are feeling about yourself. Okay, so let's see. What do we have here? Oh, strength. Nice. So this can be a card of Leo. All right. Um, you know, there's two directions that we could go in with this card. You know, asking yourself where this feeling of strength is coming from. Is it coming from a place of, of ego? Is it coming from a place of, of your heart and your vulnerability? Are you feeling strong within your feelings, no matter how anybody else reacts to you? Or are you feeling strength because you feel like you have some type of leg up on somebody or maybe some type of information about somebody or something? Um, are you taking some type of action that, you know, propels you forward in some way? You're feeling rather strong right now. You might be dealing with a Leo, but this is telling me that you're feeling very strong, but I feel like the question to ask when that card shows up is, where is that strength derived from? If it's coming from a place of ego, then it wanes, right? Some days you feel that strength, some days you don't. If it's coming from a place of heartfelt vulnerability where you don't really care what anyone else thinks, that's sustainable. That's where sustainable strength is, all right? So let's take a look at this card here. This is about how you might feel about another person right now. All right, so we have the Knight of Wands. So this is... Sagittarius energy. Um, so you might feel like you're dealing with somebody right now that doesn't really know what they want, that doesn't really know where their heart is committed. And it might be that you feel like this person, you know, hasn't matured fully in some way. Or you may feel like this person is sowing their wild oats or feels like they need to. Um, but you feel like this person might feel like they need their freedom. Um, it, this person might be inspiring you to grab your freedom. Okay. <clears throat> Either way, um, you might be dealing with a Leo. You might be de dealing with a Sag. We've got heavy fire energy here. So you might be dealing with a fire sign. But as far as how you feel about this person, if you had to sum it all up, you would probably say that you really don't know what this person, you feel like this person doesn't know what they necessarily want, okay? So what do we have here? This is feelings about a connection. High Priestess. Okay. So I feel like what you're showing a person or a situation is not necessarily what you feel deep inside. 
So you might be very quiet when it comes to expressing your feelings to a particular person or to a situation or about a situation. But there are deeper feelings that are happening here. Um, you know, feelings that are true, that, that might make you feel a little bit vulnerable. We'll explore that further, okay? But yeah, I don't feel like um, I don't feel like you're outwardly showing your feelings about a particular connection, and it's more than likely because Knight of Wands, you feel like this person really doesn't know what they want. So, you know that brings us back to you with the strength. You know. What is, where is that strength coming from? If it's coming from a deep inner vulnerability of your heart where it really doesn't matter what anyone else thinks and you just know it intuitively, that's the best place you could be. If it's coming from a place of, the other thing that I see here is you might be giving somebody the silent treatment, okay? They might be giving you the silent treatment. It might be a mutual thing where we're just not really communicating, not communicating our feelings one way or the other, you know, and that sometimes makes us feel like we are in a position of strength or power, okay, especially when our feelings are involved, okay? So right here, let's see. <clears throat> the feelings that are the most sensitive for you right now and we have the Ace of Wands. Okay. So, again, fire energy, Ace of Wands, you know, can, can really be about showing a new side of your passion or your ideas. You, I, I feel like you feel very sensitive around your passion your passion for your for the feelings that you might have for somebody or for a situation or the the new ideas that you have around this situation or around this person are very very sensitive to you we don't know why yet but let's see what the heart of these feelings are about and then we have temperance so <clears throat> We've got two cards of Sagittarius, so for a lot of you, there might be a Gemini-Sagittarius connection here. Um, you might be feeling um, very, very emotionally tied to a Sag, all right? If you're not dealing with a Sag, uh, I would say with temperance coming up as the heart of these feelings, I feel like in this case, this is about being very patient, you feel like you've been very patient with this particular person. You feel like your your feelings have had to be hidden for some for some particular reason. You know, and I'm picking that up from both of these cards. Like you feel like, you know, I don't know if this person is really going to respond to me the way that I hope they will. Or I don't know if this situation is really going to respond to me the way I hope it will. Right here, we have what isn't clear about your feelings right now. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. So, at the end of the day, you know, this is, this is a future card. So, you're uncertain about your feelings around the future with this person. Whether this connection or situation can be an abundant situation for you. I feel like with the Ten of Pentacles showing up, it says that there is potential for this to be an abundant situation for you, even though you might be feeling like you have to be very patient with somebody. Somebody might be working out um, what direction they want to go in with you, or you might be figuring out what direction you want to go with them. But there's something there's something that you keep hidden about your feelings. Okay? So, how are all of these feelings affecting you? And then we have the 4 of cups. 
This has been a really, really prevalent card in these readings this week. Um, you know, the Four of Cups carries the energy of, can carry the energy of boredom, can carry the energy of uh, a little bit of regret, and focusing on what isn't working versus what is. The energy of what isn't working, I feel like, is affecting you more than what potentially can with this Ace of Cups here. There's the Ace of Cups is being presented to you or will be presented to you or is trying to be presented to you in some way here, but it's much easier as human beings for some reason to focus on what isn't working versus what could be working. And you're, you're, um, you're not clear about whether or not this situation could you know, bring you the ultimate fulfillment of Ten of Pentacles. You're not sure. And I feel like it's because there's somebody here who is very, might be very focused on their own freedom. Somebody here might be really, maybe not ex extremely comfortable with um, commitment. And this person might be a fire sign, might be a Sagittarius, might be a Leo, okay? Um, but yeah, so these two cards here, you know, are a little bit more about the other person. But this first card here tells us what shared feelings you and this person or you and this situation have together. And then we have the death card. So this is card of Scorpio. So I feel like what the two of you are sharing right now is um, one of two things. It's either something has ended here for both of you or something is trying to, trying to transform into something new, something better for both of you. That's the shared energy between the two of you. So... How is this other person dealing with their feelings? Nine of Cups. So this other person, whoever this is, or, you know, if this is a situation, um, I feel like this other person is very hopeful, very focused on what it is they, more focused than you, actually, um, very focused on what they love about you, what they like about you, what they dream about when it comes to you. Um, you know, I feel like they would say, it's like we almost, we almost made it. We almost made it work. You know, we were really happy. Or if this was... Um, somebody new in your life, there was a lot of hope here. We definitely have to explore a few of these cards here. All right, so let's take a look. All right, so I want to see strength, which represents you. The High Priestess, which represents how you're feeling about a particular connection. The Temperance card and the Death card. All right, so let's see. Strength card. What do we have here? We have Page of Wands. Okay, so I feel like this is saying that it's, it is much easier to be in that energy of, of ego, unfortunately. Um, you can see that you know, he is receiving a lot of adoration from a lot of people here. Again, fire energy. This is, I mean, if there is one card that can demonstrate ego, you might be dealing with somebody who's particularly flirtatious or really likes attention, really likes um, to be validated, possibly about, you know, what they have to offer the world. And, you know, the younger the person is that you're dealing with, the more likely you know, um, that could be the case. But this is coming up on you. So there's something about possibly you requiring some attention, 
you enjoying attention from maybe many people. You are the flirt. Okay, so, you know, and everybody to some degree likes getting positive attention, but it's, it's, it can, it can be vapid, you know, at the end of the day. Um, it doesn't give us the satisfaction that it, that we think it's going to give us versus, you know, a deep, really connected, really emotionally connected, um, bond, right? but this might be how you deal with it. So the high priestess, you know, how you're feeling about the connection. I feel like you're being very quiet about this connection. I feel like there's more going on behind the veil. And then we've got the queen of pentacles. So this is Capricorn energy. Um, I, you know, I feel like what's behind the veil is for you um, when it comes to this connection, you would like to show a side of yourself that is more authentic, that's more nurturing, that's more um, husband or wife material. But you're in this energy over here, this Page of Wands energy. I feel like you would like to show a side of yourself that, you know, is here for the long term not just the attention of other people, but this might be how you satisfy yourself while something is going on with this person. Let's see. At the heart of the feelings, we've got the Ten of Wands. So it really feels like with the Ten of Wands, you know, that's that heavy burden. I feel like you, you have felt like you have been very patient and that has been a heavy burden to you, maybe above and beyond what, you know, what even feels worth it to you. So, you know, instead of embracing being patient and living your best life while, while somebody figures themselves out, which is perfectly fine to do, right? I feel like you're seeking attention in some way to validate yourself or to validate your worth in some way. You're worth it no matter what. And you want to show this true, authentic side of yourself that you are able to commit to something serious. You are able to give yourself. You are able to be a good husband or a good wife. Feel like that's what that's saying the death card the shared feelings that the two of you have and then we have the tower wow wow okay so both of you feel like something happened here that might not be fixable okay um, those two cards together you know and it might be with this four of cups with this this loss here um, and that's why you're not able to see this Ace of Cups right now, okay? Because you are focused on the loss. This does feel like a death to you in some way. This does feel like a heavy burden to you in some way here. Um, you know, those three empty cups have got you kind of in that energy of regret, maybe you said something, maybe you did something, or, you know, maybe this person did something that they feel is almost unforgivable, or you're feeling something is unforgivable. Let's get one more on the tower. But at the heart of the matter here, um, this Ten of Wands, this is a very heavy energy, a heavy burden to you tower and then we have the hermit okay so virgo energy here could be dealing with the virgo but something something big happened here that has caused you to really reflect reflect on what happened you're reflecting on this tower moment whatever it was it was big it was unexpected and it led to an ending here um led to an ending. It's something that happened in the past. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords energy is past energy. 
So it's like the worst is over, but you know, I don't feel like this person with this nine of cups here sees this as negatively as you do. You might be really beating yourself up. You might be presenting this energy and behind the veil, you really wanna be this energy. But because this person might have said to you, look, I'm not really ready to make any long-term commitments. I'm really not looking to be in a serious relationship. It doesn't mean that they never will be, okay? But they're, they're, they might be figuring themselves out. You might not have reacted well to this. You might have, with this Ace of Wands, you might have presented, you know, what your true desires were with somebody and they didn't embrace them the way you wanted them to. Because this card is representing what is most sensitive for you. Okay, which led to some regret for what you might have said or shared. It doesn't mean that it's forever. All right, both of you, I mean, this is shared energy. So both of you are reflecting on what happened you know, that it was a little unexpected, that it might have caused a very abrupt ending and has left you both feeling a little bit alone, okay? So let's see, let's get some further information here. All right, so let's uh, pull one here. Um, these are my um, tarot enhancer cards. I'll pull one here, and let's pull one here, and here. All right, so again, this is you, possibly being a little bit of an attention seeker right now, or you might be distracting yourself with other things and doing other things and being around other people so you can heal. All right, so in some way, this situation is about healing for you. So let's go to what's most sensitive to you. I feel like there was something shared or said. And then we have, this is a details card. Um, I almost feel like this is the, the one that we're looking at here. Feels romance is an illusion or a waste of time. You might be feeling that way because of something that you said, a passion that you shared, and it's led you to feel like it's a waste of time, which is what this Four of Cups is representing here with these three empty cups. It's like you're regretting saying something, you're telling yourself you shouldn't have done something, um, you're feeling like it's a waste of time, <clears throat> you're in a healing energy right now. Let's see what we have here. Manifesting saying I love you or manifesting feeling I love you. Which is it for you? I almost feel like it's this one, feeling I love you. Um, you're still thinking about this person and you're still thinking about either saying or feeling that you love this person. Even though there's a shared feeling like something happened that is maybe unfixable. I never feel like that's the case, especially with the Ten of Pentacles here, which is very hopeful. And even if you're telling people and yourself, like this is done, this is over, this is definitely still lingering for you in some way. And what do we have here with the connection? <clears throat> this is what's behind the veil. I feel like there's this energy of really wanting this person to see that you could commit or wanting this job to see that you could commit or you could do a specific job. And then we have measuring love by how loved they feel. So this is really, this, this makes perfect sense here with the high priestess, right? Um, so often we measure love by how loved we feel from the other person or from the situation itself. And you know, this is on the flip side of this, measures love by how much love they give. So I find that interesting. I feel like we're definitely talking about this. 
you might be measuring love by how loved you feel, or they might be measuring love by how loved they feel from you. But if you are carrying this Page of Wands energy, you probably aren't showing this person a lot of love. You might have attempted it down here with the Ace of Wands. I feel like you might have attempted to show them, and when they didn't fully embrace it at that moment, it, it's like you felt like it was uh, a failure in some way. This is the Queen of Pentacles energy, measures love by how much love they give, how you know how you can be very, very nurturing and loving. That's what would make you feel good. And there's nothing preventing you from doing that still. There's nothing preventing you from still giving love to this situation or to this person. And chances are it's something that they're probably feeling like they need too. So we're going to get some... I'm going to pull three cards here for... This is my Gift of Answers deck. And we'll just see any additional information that might come out or some answers to questions that you might have. If you want to come up with some questions right now and see if you get the answers that you're looking for here. All right, so let's see. What do we have here? Trust the universe. So the question here, you know, could be, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. I feel uncomfortable with what's going to happen. You know, you might be feeling romance is an illusion or a waste of time, but the universe is saying to trust the universe. So there's something about this that doesn't feel like it's over or done. And then what do we have here? We have chemistry. All right, so you might be questioning this. You know, you might be questioning if this is a waste of time. Um, is this something that's completely over and should remain over? Um, with the Knight of Wands and Temperance and Strength, there might be a lot of passion and chemistry here between you and another person. And it feels like there's a delay with somebody here that is just trying to figure themselves out first. But it doesn't mean that there isn't a significant amount of chemistry just, you know, just because things might have gone sideways for a bit. And then what do we have here? Face fears. And that's coming up over the Ten of Pentacles, right? And that's where, that is the card that represents what isn't clear about your feelings. So whatever it is that you're not clear about, with respect to having an abundant connection with somebody or something, um, Spirit is basically saying it might be time to face your fears about this. And it goes back to the strength card for you. Where is your source of strength coming from? Is it coming from ego? Or is it coming from a, a very truthful, honest place of vulnerability? You know, a lot of times people will express their feelings expecting a particular reaction from somebody. The key in that situation is to be able to express yourself and, you know, your vulnerability and remove the expectation. When you remove the expectation, it doesn't matter how the other person responds. But it allows you to be truthful and honest with your feelings because it feels to me like you're more of a Queen of Pentacles energy, but you're coming off as a Page of Wands energy. So this person may not feel like you're as serious as you really might be behind that High Priestess veil. So I feel like the question is here, have you presented yourself in, in an authentic manner to this person? So now I'm curious about the Knight of Wands energy, which is how you see this person. You see this person as being, you know, not knowing really what they want. But you're coming across again as two completely different energies here. So your person might be thinking, well, shoot, you know, I don't know what Gemini wants. All right, so we've got, look at, Five of Swords. 
Five of Swords and what else? One more. Ace of Cups. Okay. So Five of Swords and Ace of Cups. I feel like um, this person, you see this person fighting, um, fighting their feelings for you, and you really don't understand why. You know, when you might describe this person as not knowing what they want, you're, you're kind of asking, why aren't they fighting for a beautiful, loving beginning with me? Why aren't they doing that? And the universe is responding to you here by saying, trust us. You know, the chemistry is real, but this is forcing you to possibly face some fears that you have about what makes you feel vulnerable. So you hide a little bit in your silence. You hide in your silence because you measure love by how much love you're being given, not necessarily by how much love you're giving. If you start measuring love by how much you give it versus how much you receive it, it's amazing how things start to flip. And that's actually where your power is, is in the love that you give. Because some people will just take it and hold on to it, right? And they won't, they won't give it back. They won't share it back. And that actually, that actually hurts them. It hurts them to receive vulnerable love from somebody else and not do anything about it. That will be something that stays with that person as not feeling right. You always open up yourself to your own power when you share your love in a vulnerable way, in a truthful way. That's what I feel like might be missing here a little bit. So I feel like you, you know, with respect to the healing here, I don't feel like it's healing from whatever necessarily happened here. I feel like it's healing you in some way with not being able to allow yourself to be vulnerable and show your most nurturing side and giving love the way you want to give it, the way you want this person to see you in your most honest, in the most honest way that you can show who you are, if that makes sense. All right, Gemini, that is what I have for you. If you're looking for a deeper, more personal reading, certainly reach out. If not, no worries. I will talk to you next time. All right, thanks so much. Bye.